Good morning, Modern Steaders. We're gonna start our Modern Steader update today inside. It's a balmy seven below Fahrenheit outside this morning. First thing we need to do is put some more wood on the fire. Let's check on the Capicola. It's looking nice. Our prosciutto. And here's the other slab of bacon we cured. We gotta get it in the smoker. It's ready for the smoker. Oh, it looks delicious. You might be asking yourself, how come he doesn't have his meats hanging in his cave? Well, it's been been cold and it's gonna be getting colder here at Lumna Acres. It's seven below this morning. I believe we're supposed to be seeing like 14 and 20 below in the next couple of days. So I want to make sure the cave doesn't get too cold. I haven't been in there yet this morning. Let's see how cold it is. Let's check it out. So both of our vents, the exhaust is closed and the intake is closed. And it's cold in here. It is... 36. Awesome. The other day with the vents open, it was 20 degrees out and it was 39 in here. I was excited with that. I just want to make sure it doesn't get to freezing in here with the vents closed when it's like 22 below zero. Because I don't want our meats to freeze. And if that happens, I'll have to make foam caps to put on our vents on the outside and we'll try it from there. Before I hang all of the meats we have curing in the cave, I wanna make sure it's not gonna freeze, cause then that would just ruin it. We have potatoes, squash, and I've been working on my bread recipe lately to perfect it before I share it with all the modern steaders. And we're getting close. So I made two loaves of bread. We ate one the other night, and I figured why not store the other one in the cave? I took the 90 degree elbow off of the exhaust like a lot of the modern setters suggested and we did see a couple of degree drop since we did that. And I left the intake alone. I could cut it back higher and like a lot of the modern setters were saying is it'll have a further drop of the cold air so it'll make more of a turbulence and it will create more airflow. We do need to make candles. I'm gonna attempt doing that tomorrow. I have an idea for handles for the door. One of the good things of making a mess in our basement while we were building our root cellar, I found our barley seeds for sprouting. We used to sprout back in mass for our chickens. So I'm gonna to have to open this up and see if they're still viable and if we can sprout some of them for our chickens here. What are you doing, Figaro? My guess is these seeds are five years old. So I don't know how good they'll be, but we'll have to try them. Ready to go up, Pluto? For those of you who are curious how a vehicle starts when it's this cold out, Five 
below. Wrong way. This way. Pluto. Your feet cold there, Pluto? And this is why we love our new frost-free hydrant. We don't have to worry about our outdoor frosts freezing on us. Good morning, Mr. Biggs. All the chickens are still alive when it's this cold and out and running around. They'll eat a little bit of more feed today to keep warm, but they are doing great. Let's go check on the pigs. What do you think, Pluto? Is it cold? I bet the pigs are all snuggled up inside the tote, buried under some hay. Got a nice sunrise this morning in the woods. When it's cold out like this, it's usually just beautiful outside, which is so funny. Good morning. You look nice and warm. Check you. Your ears are nice and warm, so we know you're nice and warm. That makes me happy. I'm sure the pigs will appreciate the warm water this morning. Gonna try to eat the camera. There you go. It's nice having the animals on the homestead in the winter time, but it's also nice having less animals on the homestead in the winter time because everything just takes that much longer. The cold, the snow slows you down. You can't do everything as fast as you can in the summertime. 
So if you're going to be homesteading in a winter location like where we are, don't go as big in the winter time. Make it so you can downsize and still enjoy what you're doing. What? Well, I thought you might like some new hay. There's a couple more flakes. I'm sure you'll have fun playing with that. I want to make sure the pigs have plenty of food so they can keep warm. Hey. Goodness, he's gonna be so excited. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna unload it. Yeah, I know. No, oh. I do it. Okay, you gotta hold this because okay. it's gonna unravel. Okay. So now we gotta take out, make sure we weed out the right stuff. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm gonna hit finish. Now we're going to finish this. 
Hey, Mom, where are you going to put my little stars? I'll be right there. I got a star out. Oh, you'll a star in. No, you're not. <laughs> what is this going to be? We're so excited. Oh, do I have the mic off? <laughs> I don't know. It's another star. Don't tell Daddy. We have that. Oh, you stuff. didn't give it to me. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Well, you didn't take it. <laughs> it's too hard. <laughs> Just take it. There's <laughs> a cheat. I'm just trying to make sure she has to take that off or not. <laughs> I can also see it right here. <laughs> the operation. Oh, it's like we're playing operation. You're cheating me. Me! Ah! <laughs> oh. What do you think it's gonna be? It's so exciting. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> okay, what do you got? An E. Oh, an E. Good, we're spelling it out. We're gonna spell something after. Okay, be careful. Really careful. Okay, get this last little bit up without getting any chickens or pigs up. So we don't know what we're doing, we just watched YouTube videos. So it's not so sticky. Okay, do it one more time. One more? Mm -hmm. you, like, you just like a massage? No. Yeah. No, you're supposed to do it two or three times. You are? Yeah. Should I do it one more time? Yeah. Okay. Hold it straight for me. I don't want to get this so we can use it right. Oh, wait, no, let me scrape it. I don't think you want to, just want to get it on there lightly and then we'll get it off. I guess you got to get it on there pretty good. And you also want to get Daddy it on should not leave us alone, should he? <laughs> or at least not alone with the camera. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be when it lifts up. Like that, so we really stick it. Yeah. Here, do we want to? No, I want to. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, it lifts all up. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Oh, no, things lifted up. What did? Those little, little spaces. I oh, know. Put it back in and I'll smooth oh, it out. Oh, we're going to fix that. You don't want that crooked like that. That don't look good. That's what she did. That looks pretty straight. Yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, down. There it is. How's it look? Did we save all our letters? Huh? Mm -hmm. Is that fun? Yeah. That was so much fun. Uh, Smells good. I'm all fogged up. Goulash. What you cooking? Goulash. What's goulash? Oh. With ground pork? Yep. Mom, I think the chicken is going to make some good adults. Maybe you don't think people are there for very attention to something. Big girl, that's my spot. I gotta go now, Larry. So I was like, okay, we're just gonna get daddy. That's right, we got 500 thumbs up on the chicken pot pie video. So I'm gonna make a recipe and I'm gonna post it on our website. I'm gonna do that hopefully in the next couple of days. What are we doing? 500? Five, they want, people have been asking for different recipes and I told them for that one. If the video got 500 thumbs up, I would make the recipe and post it. And it's got 500 thumbs up, so now I gotta do it. Yes, I do.
That was a good dinner. I like that chop suey. It was good, easy, warm. Mm, it felt good on me. It felt good eating it. Nice and warm. Mm. Been cold all day. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at London Acres. A guide to my home setting, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.